extra piece because they want to make sure they are not carrying two game pieces at once. The Red Alliance is making quick work of this cargo ship, as is the Blue Alliance dunking in cargo on both ends. 2130 and 7461 both have hinged mechanisms that allow them to dump in cargo very quickly and make sure it gets in the right slot. 2147 helping their alliance partners fill up that cargo ship. They just need three more cargo and one hatch panel on there. Blue Alliance getting two cargo in at once. Both alliances are making quick work of this cargo ship. Once again, at its consistent height, it is an easier target to get than maybe the rocket, but can still be a challenge to line up side to side, especially with drivetrains that can't move that direction. 3145 saying, we don't need that kind of drivetrain though, as they slide in and place the final hatch panel on their cargo ship. There is heavy defense, there is defense that is trying to be played on the red side of the field. On the blue side, we have 7461 working to fill up the cargo ship as their alliance partners, the Alpha Plus team, trying to finish up that rocket. 3145 with their ground cargo pickup has been very effective throughout the competition. Placing, picking and placing both cargo and hatch panels. With 30 seconds left, that means it is time for the end game. We don't have field sounds right now, but this is your warning that it is time to climb. 3145 with their machine and Alpha Plus with their lift attempting to make that level three climb. It can be dangerous if robots fall from there, so they have to be careful and weigh the risks. 2147 climbing up and parking on the first level with 2-1. We have two teams on, one team off on both sides. Great job, teams. Stay tuned for your scores. have our scores. It is 48 Red Alliance, 41 Blue Alliance with the extra ranking point for having that level three climb on the red side. We haven't seen a lot of those extra ranking points today. Great job teams. You all didn't see this coming, right? I'm keeping you on your toes coming out from the other direction. All right. How many Microsoft engineers does it take to change a light bulb? Zero, they don't change light bulbs. They change standards. <laughs> 